In this project video, we want to show you how we build our tipping trailer. As this is a project where we have to work accurately, the wood beams will be planed before we start. With this step, we make sure that all sides of the beams are perpendicular to each other. Off camera I have already created the lower joints as overlaps. Now I'll create some one-sided dovetail joints for the diagonal support. These ensure a tension resistant joint. As cutting them on the bandsaw and by hand leaves them pretty crooked, I like to plane them by hand so that I have a better result. Beams with the one-sided dovetail joints are also halved in the thickness so that they have an overlap with the main beam. This way the main beam will not be reduced so much in its cross section. The upper end where these connections join together is a little bit special. Accordingly was my solution approach to manufacture this. This opening is used to accommodate the spindle of the tractor and is certainly the weak point of the whole design. These recesses are for the substructure of the loading bay. Now begins the thankful process of assembling. So far this 3D puzzle has already cost me 8 hours of my time. And in this first work step of putting it together, we already made a mistake. If you can spot it, let us know in the comments. To put all of this together, we used a PU construction glue, as well as screws, a water resistant white glue and 25mm hardwood dowels out of red beach. As putting together such a big construction on your own is not that easy, I was very happy that Nini found time to help me out. On this finished main beam you can see why we halved the diagonal support. Otherwise these recesses would have weakened the main beam even more.
Bind the two main parts together, we used white glue, 15 screws, later we insert wooden dowels to improve the connection even more. The substructure of the loading bay was made out of hardwood which we had lying around in the workshop. It's a quite satisfying feeling when such connections fit together that nicely. If you ask yourself why we have built this out of wood instead of metal, first off we had a lot of wood laying around in the right properties and for sure we're not the best of welders. Before the loading bay was planked, we quickly checked whether the construction would still fit on the tractor and took it for a short spin. Finally, we covered the loading area and the side walls with large, and our tipping tailor was finally done. We hope you like this deeper look about what it takes to do one of these projects that you usually just see in our two-week update videos.